Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey Media, Sundays from 11 a.m. to noon, broadcasting live from Detroit and stretching to the heart of Central Texas, here on FM 88.1 WHPR with co-hosts Longhorn and the Jersey Girl. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. And now, here's your host that never gets it right, but is never wrong, Will Sims. All right, welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, co-host Longhorn. What time is it, Longhorn? Game time, prime time. Detroit Sports Jersey Media time. Let's get it on, Popcorn. All right, let me throw out the number, 313-868-3688. If anybody want to join in on the conversation today, we're going to start off. We got a lot on the plate to talk about today, Longhorn. Um, I'm in the studio solo, of course, the um, – Jersey girl would usually be sitting next to me along with Haley Scott. But both are out today due to personal reasons. I won't get off into that, but that's a whole nother story. Well, let me get off into Haley. She's out celebrating her birthday, which was, what, December the 16th? That was Wednesday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I, I want to ask you. That happy birthday song, but I don't, don't want to, you know, give up my skills. Well, let me you ask know, I don't you. I want the agents calling the show trying to, you know, suit me off my feet, you know, take me away. Let me ask you a question, though, Longhorn. Yep, yep. How come we as black people only want to celebrate our birthdays a whole week or a whole month? What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> huh? For real? How come, <laughs> how, come, how come we only race to do that? Huh? I just want to know. <laughs> it's, it's called birthday. That means that day. Well, well, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta stretch it out. If you, if your birthday is in the middle of the week, man, you know, some please. people figure, hey, if it's in the middle of the week, it really don't count. Man, it only please. counts. It only counts during the weekend. Man, please so we get out of here. Stretch it out, make it last. But I know some people who have birth months. Man, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> they're not celebrating their birthday on the first of the month, and their birthday is on the second. And they carried the whole month all the way to the end, so. All right. It's December the 20th, five days away from Christmas. Longhorn, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready like I'm ready like Freddie. Got all it. my gifts. All I do is give gift cards, so it's real easy to shop for people, you know. Go to Walmart, hit that little rack on the side, mm-hmm. and it's done. D-O-N-E. Man, I got I'm, I'm not in that shopping around, long lines, you know, all that and I don't give grown people gifts either. That's what I was just telling somebody here in the studios. I was like, um, because I was talking about my grandkids. I got them out of the way. I told them I give my mom's, you know, I give her the, you know, the um, the Benjamins. That's all she wants. She's happy with that. She can do what she want to do with that. But as far as grown people, I don't give stuff for my baby. I buy her. Matter of fact, I got to go shopping for her today or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> That's right. You know, you know, you know get her out the way. And, and, and Sandy Claus is for the little ones. No, I don't like you. you. Know? I don't, you're grown folks. No gifts. Hell no. Get the hell out of here with that. Take your, <laughs> take your grown ass on over somewhere and sit You know, down. somebody told me once, uh, Will, that, you know, giving money is not personal. You're talking about giving Benji's. My thing is this. If I reach into my wallet and I give you a crisp $100 bill or a 10 spot or anything out of my wallet, oh, that's real personal. Because, number one, you didn't have to get up and go in and, 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 uh, and, and put up with the shenanigans for me to get that $100, $10, five spot. So that's real personal. Well, dog, if, that's if you what don't she, want it, if that's what give my, it back. If, if that's what moms want, that's what I'm giving her. Hey, I don't give a damn what nobody else say. But check this out. Let's jump off into it, Longhorn. Yeah, yeah. They calling for your boy head after two seasons here in Detroit. Jim Caldwell, they calling for his head. Oh, he was the greatest thing that ever walked through the door last year when they was 11-5, and five, made it to the playoffs. Now they done had one off. Well, they've just been an off-off season. You know, they lost Sue. They lost Fairly. I mean, basically the whole team sucks this year. Let me ask you, Longhorn, should he stay or should he go? I say he should stay. Give the give the guy a break. One, two, three strikes and you're out. You know, let's see let's see what he can do next year. Give him one more shot at it. Uh, last year, the year before, I mean, last year the defense held him into the got him into the playoffs. This year, 
I don't know what happened. The ship sinking. The ship went down with, with the as if they had big holes blown in the bottom of the of the boat or the ship. I say, give him one more year. Let's see if he can turn it around. Don't fire the guy because of two seasons. Come on now. At least give the give the brother man one more season to see what he can do, and then we can start talking about <laughs> high hole and, and kicking him out. You know, but give him one more year. Three strikes and you're out. That's what I say. But you know, Longhorn, since this franchise done been around, you know, they have had a total of 24 coaches in their franchise history. Sometimes, man, I think, and, and, and I'm going to take it, go back. I ain't, I'm not going to go back all the way through their history, but I'm going to go back to some of the people that listen out there, and they know this name very well. Then I'm going to bring it up to date to Jim Caldwell. I'm going to start with the Wayne Fonts era. You know, he was with the Lions for eight seasons. He coached in 138 games with a 67 wins and 71 losses. He stayed right. there eight years. After that, you had Bobby Ross, Gary Moeller, which was here for, here for a quick minute, uh, Marty Morningwig, Morningwig, whatever the hell his name is. Who cares? He was only here for two years. Steve Marinucci, Marinucci was here for two, three years, three years. Let me take that back. After that, Dick Gerard, Gerard, Gerard. Right. He was here for um, a minute, uh, less than a season. Ron Marinelli was here for three years. Jim Schwartz was here for five years. Jim Caldwell, one year plus. I think they should give this man a chance, you know, because for the simple fact, those other guys – Outside of Jim Schwartz and Wayne Fox, those are the only ones that really have long tenured after the last more than three years. Gary, right, right. Uh, Bobby Ross was three years plus, which he got fired into the fourth season. Steve, <laughs> Steve Marinucci, right. Steve Marinucci was here for three years. He got fired going into his fourth season. So what I'm saying is, you know. I think Jim Caldwell, they should give him another year. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and say I think they should give him two years. Uh, you know, you can't, you know, you can't, you know, you can't have that piston syndrome where every 10 months when Joe Dumar was running a team that you're uh, having a coach turn around. Hell, they only let Mo Cheeks at the Pistons, man, coach 50 games. They fired him. You got to have some kind of stability something to build on you can't and that, be, and that's what i was going I you can't have this coaching think. carousel you can't have this coaching carousel going around every few years and you know you got to give somebody man a fighting chance a fair chance and i'm not saying they're not giving the coaches a fresh because one thing about the detroit Lions. let me tell you something about the detroit Lions. They be drafting some talent, or talents comes to the team, however you want to say it. Now, their last couple of draft picks has been questionable. But, man, when you got a Calvin Johnson that played on your team, when you done had a Herman Moore that played on your team, a Barry Sanders that played on your team, I mean, I mean, you done had some good players come through here. You got Golden right. Tate that's on your team now. You know, yep, yep. you done had some good players come on the but you got to have a system, man, to where this stuff can actually work. And it's for some reason or another, it's not working. So yeah, I, and you think about it like this, too. I think that zero and that 0 and 16 record is still hovering over the hovering over the fans, uh, in the fans' mind. So he comes and he comes, and you go, you go 11, 11 and 5, right? Yes. So now they're going to a losing season. And they, their mind still thinking that 11, 16, 11, and 5. So you're thinking, oh, 11, and 5, we're on our way back to the top. But I agree with you. You got to have some continuity and you got to have some gelling and some, and some you know, some uh, uh, some consistency. You just can't keep running coaches in and out of this looking for a quick, you know, that's what they're looking for. They, they're looking for a quick fix Super Bowl or a quick fix, let's go deeper in the playoff coach. You can't do that. You got to have some consistency and some continuity within the team because each coach is going to come in with a different set of rules, a different uh, uh, style of play, So now the, the, even, and then they keep drafting. So now the players got to keep adjusting their style of play. The coaches got to keep – the coaches 
They bring in new coaches. Now they got to adjust. So now here's a team. You get rid of Caldwell. You check Caldwell's record. You take his stats and his record before coming here. He's a winning coach. He's a winning coach. So it's not like he just brought some bum in off the street and trying to make well, it he work. Was, he's, he's he not has no, a, he, pred- a pedigree. He's a winning coach. Well, so he's I'll not no. Give him two more years. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go and throw another year on that. Give him four, four and out the door. Well, he's not a winning head coach, Longhorn. He only. Well, he's a winning coach. Yeah, he has the winning mentality. He don't. He got super two Super Bowl rings, one with the Ravens and one with the Colts. I grant you that. But have you ever noticed one thing also about the um, Detroit Lions organization? About when it comes to coaching, Mm-mm. there's no high-profile coaches that ever, ever applied for this job. And after that, and as far as the coaching with the Detroit Lions. Once you done coached the Detroit Lions, you have never, ever coached, been a head coach, should I say, in the NFL again. Check the records. Not one coach that coached the Detroit Lions ever had uh, went somewhere else and became a head coach with no team. Maybe you should check the stats on them, huh? <laughs> you know. Hey, how about this? How about this for uh, maybe could do this? He has two Super Bowl rings, right? How about coming in with his rings and let all the players just get a feel of it? You know, just 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 hold it in their hand, try it on their ring, on their finger, whatever, and say, just imagine this. You know, picture this. This is what you want right here. You know, something like that, something different. Because whatever he's doing in the locker room is not working. So maybe you need to bring those rings in and let the let the players just see it, touch it, and feel it, and explain his feeling. When he got the ring, you know, in passionate in a passionate manner, maybe they go out there and do something. Well, Longhorn, they didn't have players that then came to this team that doesn't have Super Bowl ring. Hell, they got one on there now. Golden Tate, the one one with Seattle. So what do that mean? He's pissed yeah, off. He's pissed off at the way the Detroit Lions are playing. See, but that Golden Tate situation to me came at this price. See, this is like I said, we talked about this before in the past. This is one team where you can't come and get paid. Now, if you come in here to look to win a playoff game or go to the Super Bowl, you can forget it until the mentality of the ownership and the front office change. The mentality is they have this losing mentality here. I'm not saying they're going out here on purpose and losing games, but come on, man. Look what happened last week when they played um, St. Louis. You know, Todd, it was the Todd Gurley show. They couldn't even stop him. Matter of fact, he's still running on them today, and they ain't even playing St. Louis. <laughs> he's still out there running. Yeah, he's still out there running on the Detroit line. They ain't even playing St. Louis this week. They um, national TV playing the Saints Monday night, ESPN. <laughs> oh, know. yeah, they national. They going national this, this Monday. Yeah, I mean, man, come on now. You got, uh, what, a 4-9 and nine going against a 5-18, and 18, man. Come on. I mean, and it's on national TV. I can see that goes to show you. I guess people will expect a lot more out of Detroit Lions this year. Do, do, do you see the Lions breaking uh, 500? What is they got, three games left? Yeah. It's impossible Longhorn to break 500 when they're 4-9. 8-8. 8-8. I'm talking about 8-8. Eight eight. Longhorn, they're 4-9. and nine. How are they going to oh, go 8 and 9 I'm sorry. My, uh, you're right. You're right. How are they going to go 8-8 eight and eight and they already done lost nine games? <laughs> you're right. You know, <laughs> my bag. Look, they still run. Hey, girl, still running on me, I guess, huh? You know. Long, do you know what they should do? No, what they should do, brother. Like I scrap the scrap the whole front the whole front office and uh and well they, four sell the team, which she's not gonna do. Well, they don't scrap they don't scrap the front office. They don't got rid of the GM and the president. What I'm they talking sh- about get rid of the owner, which they're not gonna do because she's not gonna sell the team. No, well, they're not. They're not, it's a money pit. Why you, you never get rid of the money pit? Because they know these Lions fans are fools. My boy, he's a Detroit Lions fan. They fool. They love the. Which I don't have no problem with. You know, you being loyal to your team, but sometimes you got to make a stance, man, that you would not spend your time, your money, or waste your time on this team. And people, yeah, you, you and, can be a Detroit Lions fan from your couch. Yeah, you're right. You can be like, "Hey, I'm a Lions fan, but I'm not gonna go pay to watch him play." And I'm you know, t- but I will support him from my couch or my living room and my comforts of my own home. And I'm gonna tell you, I can make my make my own snacks and beverages. And I'm gonna tell you something right now: money talks. Oh, let yeah. them let them seats start getting empty. Money. 
talks. I guarantee oh, let, you. Let, let me tell you this. If those seats get empty, money don't talk, money screams. You know. So Money screams. I don't know, Longhorn. I don't know what to say about this organization, man. You know, I feel for the city, you know, but I just can't jump on board on this garbage, man. I just refuse to do it until I, I – you know, like I try to tell everybody, man, once again, I go back to this. Jerry Jones has three Super Bowl rings. He still has. I'm not saying I know he made some dumb decisions. He stuff, you know, bringing Greg Hardy on board down there in Dallas and all that stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about his passion to win another Super Bowl. I see that more in him than I see the Ford family trying to win their first Super Bowl. And yeah, I you t- see that, but you know I don't see that. I don't see that. I see Jerry Jones as a money man. I see his passion on on, on earning that almighty dollar. Dog, he so wants to win at, another if Super Bowl. If you look at the Cowboys season this year, if you look at the quarterback that he spent all that money for, Romo, are you serious? You think he's giving all that money to Romo because he has passion to win two bowls? Uh, no. I look. Listen, you, put, you, you, you didn't hit- put Romo and Stafford in the same lineup, and I couldn't tell you the difference on who's throwing who on out there. You put him in. You switch the uniform and put a, 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 a and just send me, hey, who's playing, who's who's playing today? Is that Romo or that Stafford? Look the same to me. Longhorn, They're both I, pimping organizations. So I you're did. talking about his passion to win Super Bowl? No, he may have passion to spend money to get Super Bowl caliber players. If that's what you're talking about, Longhorn. What I'm saying is, I didn't say that I agree with all his decisions. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that he has that passion to win. He's always at the game. He's always down there on the sideline. He has a passion to win another Super Bowl, man. I'm telling you. You can now see he's it. on the sideline because he, like, he has that passion to micromanage. Oh. And he's not – hey, look, number one, he's not 90 years old. Can you see Miss Ford always on the sideline at, at, at the games at sub-below temperature? No, oh, wait a minute. I never seen it. <laughs> wait a minute. They didn't come out the – hold on, Longhorn. They didn't come out the gate as 90-year-old. They never <laughs> been on the sideline. You said they come out the gate as they, they – man, I'm telling you, man, I don't see how you can't see this by you being down there in Texas that they don't have the that, – that, that Jerry Jones got more passion to win another Super Bowl more than the Detroit Lions do. You crazy as hell. And I'm telling you right now, I see it every week, every I week. Don't. You don't see the micromanagement that's going on. That's what you don't. You see him on the sideline, but that doesn't say he got passion because he's walking the sideline. If he didn't have passion to win, Longhorn, he wouldn't be there. If he didn't have passion, Longhorn, he wouldn't be there. That does not say you have passion. That could also say to the players, I better tighten up my game because there's a man over there who's writing my checkbook. Yeah, he's at the game watching me play, and uh, if I don't do what I'm supposed to do out here, I could I could lose this big money dollar right here because he's he's his actually watching me play. He's How about not, like you say he's not absent from the game. He's actually on his co- on the field watching me play. How who about knows? he How? may just love the game of football that much that he's down there. Now who are, what other owners do you know uh, who walks the walks the sideline like Jerry Jones? They don't have that passion, my man. What about Seattle, Seattle Seahawks? They only walk the sidelines in each and every game? So you don't really want to talk to me about Seattle now, do you? You don't want to go there. You was talking all that ish in the beginning of the season now that they clicking I, in the play. I just want to know, I just want to know yeah. if they only walk the sideline like Jerry Jones do. They only don't have three Super Bowls. Oh, my God. Now, nah, so how? The, so, so, so when the 49ers won all their trophies back in the day, they – do they own the walk the sideline every single game? You saw Carmen policy at every game and on on the sideline. Yes, you did. When, yes. When the Steelers, you, when the Steelers were back in their heyday, yeah. did they own us walk the sideline every single game? They weren't on the sideline, but they would sometimes they was, but a lot of they was at every game. The Roonies, the Roonies was at every game, yes. Yes, they still there. Yes. So the Cal okay, the Panthers. The Panthers. Do you say they coach? I'm not their coach, they own us. On the sideline at all their games. How many Super Bowls they got? Case closed. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, bro. Case closed. Saying is, you saying Jerry Jones is down there because his passion. I'm talking about game. owners with Super Bowl rings, Longhorn. Okay, I'm going to do some research on that. Brother. Please I'm gonna, do. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do some research, and I'm going to find out. Owners with Super Bowl rings, they're owners. 
Walk that sideline more than Jerry Jones. I you didn't say more. I, you you didn't hear me say more. You didn't hear me say, quit putting words in my mouth long on. I didn't say they want the sidelines more than Jerry Jones. No, I did not. Well, I'm just trying to tell you. I'm just trying to tell you. Jerry Jones is not walking the sideline because he got passion winning Super Bowl ring. I know. He's Jerry just walking because he's taking his Sunday stroll. Yeah, okay. Managing the team. Yeah, I know. He's walking the sideline so he go down there and pick up his Sunday paper for the day, huh? Yeah, get the hell out of here, Longhorn. He got passion <laughs> to win. He got passion to micromanage. He has passion to win. See now you going you gonna end up okay, forcing. Okay, he has passion to win. So what's the, why they reckon is why they why they in the toilet? Dog, he has passion to you, win. You, dog, he can't go out there and play for him. Oh my God! I tell so you what. When they win the game, it's because he's dying on the field. I tell you what. Let me ask, ask me this question. Not, yes or no? When they win the game, when they win games, is it because he's on the field? He's down there checking it out, seeing what's going on, what moves, what moves he need to make, what moves he need to make on the off season, Longhorn. Who's so, weak? Who's the weak link down there? Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna see what moves he makes on this off season. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you what moves coming real soon. You gonna make me start rooting for the um, um, Cowboys soon as they bring Johnny Manziel down there, baby boy. He's coming oh, home. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> All the Detroit listeners, please record what he just said somewhere in the archives. Johnny coming home, when baby. Johnny Mazzell comes here to, 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 to the Cowboys. Johnny's coming home, baby. See that, Longhorn? <laughs> you know why he – See let that? Why he gonna, let me tell you why he's going to bring Mazzell here. Money. Money talk, money screams. Johnny Money, baby. He's coming home. Jerry, Jerry Jones is the only NFL owner who takes the profits from the sale of his jerseys and things of that nature. So you bring man. It's all business, team. baby. He's going to make more money from the selling of their products when he brings them here. Nope. He's not bringing that clown here to win those Super Bowls. It's I'm all- trying to tell you. Hey, okay. hey, don't we're get... gonna put it down in paper right here today in ink. Mazel coming here to the, to, uh, to the Cowboys is not gonna make them no Super Bowl contenders. Try to tell you, baby boy, Johnny Johnny Money's coming home. Y'all better get used to it down there. He's... Okay, yeah, go ahead and get your go ahead and get your Dallas jersey on when he comes to this team. Ah, and then nah. I want to hear you. I want to hear you say, well, they well they they would have won. You know, uh, Jerry Jones down there talking to Mazel. Money well, bag is coming that. home. Money bag is coming home. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Longhorn, quick question for you before I'm going to give you time to think about this. Should the Panthers sit Cam Newton, knowing they're sitting pretty in the playoffs right now with three games left? I'm going to give you a chance to think about that. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Hello, Detroit Sports Jersey listeners. If you would like to be a sponsor of Detroit Sports Jersey, the email address is info at DetroitSportsJersey.com. And the phone number is 313-624-7814. We air every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern on FM 88.1 WHPR with live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. Detroit Sports Jersey offers reasonable sponsorship rates. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by ENO Productions slash Fiverr. That's F-I-V-E-R-R. ENO Productions slash Fiverr does video production work. And this is where Detroit Sports Jersey goes for video work week after week. Again, that's ENO Productions slash Fiverr. That's F-I-V-E-R-R. Check this out for everybody that's listening on the radio. Everybody listening on the radio and watching on TV 33. Play the sports trivia game everyone is talking about. Played by thousands upon thousands of sports fans around the world. Each puzzle contains pictures that relate to some type of sports challenge. Challenge yourself to unlock the answer. Some answers are easier than others. We have hundreds of questions to download. The game now. That's so. Download the game now, and try it out while it's free. You can find that at Sports Mania. Name that sports. Download it. iTunes, Apple.com. Thank you, Longhorn. Back to you. What's up? Should the Panthers sit Cam Newton, 
with three games left or risk him getting injured. Hopefully he won't. But sometimes, you know, you know, well, that, let me get my ass out of the way. When people say that about players, I'm kind of iffy on that because sometimes the players can get rusty. But I understand the injury of what's going on that you taking a chance of that player getting injured. So, Longhorn, what's your thoughts on that? I, I don't I don't think they should set him down because this is why I look at it. Things happen in football. He can get injured on a on a on a freak on a freak accident where it has nothing to do with him getting hit by the defense. You know, so I don't think you set him down with that. Ooh, we better not play him because if he gets hurt, you know what, what's going to happen to our playoff chances if he get hurt. So we're gonna we're gonna baby and we're gonna put him to the side. We're gonna keep him here in this box and you know warm and fuzzy and comfy. Put some pillows around him, sit him on the bench so he doesn't get hurt because we need him for the playoffs. No, let the let, let the young man play. He's a big guy. His line is blocking blocking for him like like it's a steel wall there. So they're not gonna let him get hurt. You know what I'm saying? And he and he has no smarts to know that uh, when he's in when he's in a real physical danger out there of being hurt. Because if he does get hurt, I don't think it's gonna be because somebody hit him too hard. It may be some by some freak accident that he couldn't avoid anyway. So I said, let him keep on playing. He done came this far. He's hot. And I'm sure that they say, hey, we're going to sit you down for these last these last games before we go to the playoffs. He wants to play. You know, and I'm sure his team wants him out there on the, on the field to, hey, bring bring it on home. You know, just like playing space. All right, you got, Long- the, you, got you, you got you holding all the trump. Okay, Longhorn, home. damn all that car talk you're talking. We got a call on the line. Caller, you live on the air. Thanks for calling Detroit Sports Jersey. What can we do for you? What's going on? Where's Miss Haley? Hey, <laughs> uh, she's out. <laughs> yeah. I was going to get a prediction from her today on the Lions game. Oh, yeah. She'll be back next week. She's a Lions fan. She's always going to pick the Detroit Lions. What's your prediction? The Lions going to lose about 30. You said the Lions going to go down to go, – go 30. To, they're going down to New Orleans, get whooped by 30. <laughs> Man, they I'm might probably be back to... when they do it. All right. I appreciate that. You heard him, people out there. He say by 30. Lions going down by 30. Thanks for All calling right. and thanks for calling and listening. Longhorn, he said by 30. He said by 30. He sound like he sound like you with the blowout numbers, ain't he? Hey, man, reality is reality. I'm going to give you my – at the end of the show, I'm going to give you my uh, prediction. I'm kind of on the same level he's on. I ain't going to say by 30, but I don't see it being close. No, I don't see it being close. You think they're going ahead and just tank the season out? Tank the season. You think they're tanking? How the hell are you tanking the season at 4-9? and Hell, you are. You through. Is is, 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 is there such a word as tunk? (laughs) They don't tunk it out. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I think uh, Cam Lewis should go ahead and play. What do you think? Hold on. Let's go back to the caller on the line. Caller on the line, thanks for calling Detroit Sports Jersey. Hello, caller? Yeah, I just want to uh, say that I think they definitely should play Cam because, you know, he's at the peak of his career right now. He waited so long for him to adjust in the situation he got. They got the team. They got the offense. It's not even about trying to go undefeated. It's just about trying to have a good season. Now, let me ask you a question. I mean, I agree with you, brother. But don't you think he's risking his uh, injury? They already wow. sitting pretty for the playoffs. They the number one Here contenders, no doubt about that. They are gonna have home field advantage. Do you? These three games left, and these three teams really ain't nobody. They really playing. There's no threat to them. So you don't feel that he's risking the injury? Uh, I wouldn't worry about the injury too much because uh, if you do get hurt, I don't think it'll be too bad right now. But also, you got to look at. Uh, the nobodies is always the ones that hurt you the most. Even though they already play up contentions, you know, everybody's trying to get that money, the peak of their career for trying to trying to do a, a perfect season. You know, you got to let these guys play, man. They want all this money. You know, if they get hurt, I don't want nobody to get hurt, but if they get hurt, you know, it's just all part of the job. Yep. But you, but you, yeah, but, I agree with you. But listen I agree here. with the caller. And not only that, since, they, like you said, well, they playing no, nobody teams. If you won't count the play, Put him in there for maybe a quarter or two, then pull him out. But don't just sit the brother the whole the whole three games but, is left. That's, but see, but y'all miss it, though. Clear. These boys are playing so good. They, I'm going to tell you something who the Carolina Panthers remind me of. They remind me of 
the Seahawks when they got hot and they won their Super Bowl. I mean, you could take Cam Newton, compare him to Russell Wilson. You can take the running backs, compare him to Beast Mode and uh, – um, I'm Jonathan Stewart and compare him to Beast Mode. They got the receivers. They got great defense. You got too much riding on the line to have your star. And, and, and Cam Newton is a beast, man. That boy can play that position at quarterback, no so doubt. So, well, pull him out then. Don't pull him out. Let him play. And, and we, wait, we waited for about five or six years for him to show us this, really, though. That's right. But what I'm saying, though, Carla and Longhorn, you you playing so such great this season. I think the Super Bowl outweighs these last three games. Now, Longhorn, I would agree with you. Maybe you put him in for a quarter or two, pull him out. But I I cannot risk that injury. I got too much. I'm too. I'm just too close. I'm just too hey, close. Hey, 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 hey Carla, what's your name, brother? Minotti. Huh? What you say? Minotti. 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 Yeah. Minotti. Well, I, I like to say, Will, man, get the pillows. Get the pillows off our quarterback, man. We don't need no no cotton pillows and no fluffy duffies around our quarterback. Cam Newton, he, see, you sound like one of them owners. Oh, we just too close. We we can't let nothing happen to our diamond in the, in the rough. Man, we want the dude out there and take him all the way through. You wouldn't pull up Russell Wilson out when he got near the end of the freaking thing, so we ain't going to pull out Cam Newton. But Russell Wilson, That's my word. Russell Wilson yeah, wasn't playing the for the last year. Why they ain't giving it to Lynch? There you go. That's all the boom, be all right there. What do you say? I said the last playoff of the Super, the last play of the Super Bowl. Why they didn't just get the ball to Lynch? Hey, caller, I have no idea. I'm with you 100 percent on that. Don't get, he, hey, caller, don't get him started on that one. Hey, the man rushed for 121 yards in that game. You mean to tell me you couldn't give him that ball for two more yards? <laughs> hey, not only that, he got him up to that to that what, yard line. Wait a minute. Hey, See, that's uh, how, that's, that's, those are the things that happen when you think about it and think like owners. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And not only that, the offensive coordinator said he would run the same play over again. He should have been fired for making that statement. Well, you know he ain't going to say nothing else other than that. <laughs> All right, Carla, appreciate you listening and calling in. Call. Thanks, Carla. Thanks a lot, brother. Keep, keep tuning in. Yeah, yeah, Will? Yes. I say let the brother play, man. I don't, don't know, don't man. Don't take I'm... the gloves off. And I'm like, you know how we always say when, when, when you, when you, when you uh, keep your foot on the throat of your opponent? Now, let him, let him go in for a couple of, couple of quarters to keep him, you know, keep him warmed up. And since these other three teams are nobodies, you know, you can put the second string quarterback in there to get him some practice time. Pull up the. Um, but don't, about, but don't take him out the whole game. Longhorn, we about to take a quick commercial break. Pull up the uh, last three games and opponents they playing. We come back from the commercial break. We're going to break those opponents down and see is it really worth Cam Newton playing in these final three regular season games. I say no. I, I'm kind of 50 50. I might be with the Longhorn. I'll say play him a couple of quarters, get him out of there. He, you know. Maybe they can, you know, go up by 21 nothing something. They ain't need it no more. I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of – I want – I just want the boy – you know, to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind Carolina winning the Super Bowl this year. I'm not going to lie. I really wouldn't mind him being the MVP. He's playing – he got MVP stats. The boy is awesome. He's Superman for real out there on the field. I don't care about his dances and none of that. The boy can play quarterback it's as simple as that we'll be back after a word from our sponsor hello detroit sports jersey listeners if you would like to be a sponsor of detroit sports jersey the email address is info at detroit sports jersey.com and the phone number is 313-624-7814 we air every sunday at 11 a.m eastern on fm 88.1 whpr with live streaming at fm 88.1 whpr.com detroit sports jersey offers reasonable sponsorship rates detroit sports jersey is sponsored by eno productions slash fiverr that's f-i-v-e-r-r ENO production slash Fiverr does video production work, and this is where Detroit Sports Jersey goes for video work week after week. Again, that's ENO productions slash Fiverr. That's F I V E R R. All right, for the listeners on the radio and the viewers on TV, play the sports trivia game everyone is talking about. 
played by thousands upon thousands of sports fans around the world. Each puzzle contains pictures that relate to some type of sports challenge. Sports Challenge yourself to unlock the answers. Some answers are easier than others. We have hundreds of questions, so download the game now and try it out for free while it's free. You can find that at iTunes, apples.com, that's Sports Mania, name that sports. That's the app that you want to download so you can play the sports trivia games. And, hey, hopefully you can win some great prizes that they have to offer. All right, Longhorn, what time is it? Game time, prime time, Detroit Sports Jersey Media time. Let's get it on, Popcorn. All right, you got the stats. about those Carolina Panthers. Okay, you got them, Longhorn? Well, we we got the Giants. I think we got Tampa Bay, and we got Atlanta. Who you think? Say that again. You got the Giants. They playing the Giants today, of course. Okay. But you know, I'm I'm like the caller uh, on the last the last caller there. Sometimes those teams with nothing to lose, they can creep up on you. They got the Giants and who? Hold on here. They got the Giants. They got Atlanta and they got Tampa Bay. Okay, man, come on, seriously, you gonna but risk? But you know your, what? But you, you gonna know risk let your me, start? Let, let me give you a scenario. Those teams with nothing to lose, they can creep up on you. You know what I'm saying? So creep you put, up on you, you, so you do put, what? Hurt? You, you put your second string. You put your second string quarterback in there, which we have talked for long hours. On you want to put your best players out there on the field. So here's the scenario I'm giving you. You pull Cam Newton out. Now, for some unknown reasons, the Giants go up by a touchdown. What are you going to do? You going to put Cam Newton back in, or are you going to say, well, we'll take this a hit. We still got an awesome record, and we're still going to save him for the playoffs. Are you going to do that, or are you going to put him back in the game? Okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you, yes or no, brother. Come on, politician. Let, let me ask you. You up there with Clinton and, and Trump with these with – these, I asked you a question. I asked you a question. You asked me a question back. Let me ask you a question. What's more important? <laughs> 16 and 0 or a Super Bowl victory? Which is more important? A Super Bowl, of course. Case closed. I'm not putting my man out there to risk getting a hand. He, he, he could take us. I feel, I, damn, these last three games. So you would take the L? Who, I mean, I, I, who's their backup quarterback? I don't even know who their backup quarterback is. But anyway, find out who their backup quarterback is. I'm not saying they're going to take the law. I'm not putting the injury. They, who's not. It, now, my, my question to you was, if they're down by a uh, touchdown, okay. I'm going to give them down by two touchdowns. Will you put Cam back in the game? No. Yes or no? No. You'll take the L. Oh, so who's going to say they're going to lose? lose. If, if it's looking like they're going to lose, would you take the L to protect your Super Bowl playoffs, your, your playoffs and your Super Bowl contention? Yes. Will you take the L if they're playing Atlanta and Tampa Bay? Will you take three L's? So you would take a thirteen to three record is, to go to the playoffs with Cam Newton, Cam Newton and and possibly win the Super Bowl. The would you Super, take a thirteen and three record? The Super Bowl is very more important to me than them three games against nobodies that don't that that don't mean nothing. Nothing. So you would take the L. I take the L. Yes, I go zero and three to get a Super Bowl ring. Yes, I would. I would literally go zero and three. To get me a Super Bowl, yes I would. How did that work out for Tom Brady that year? They went sixteen and zero, and the Giants <laughs> and the Giants and the Giants yeah. beat them. How did that work out for you? Hey, huh? that was a fluke, brother. <laughs> it don't matter. They didn't get the they didn't get the Super Bowl ring. They got the sixteen and zero, which means nothing. Which means nothing. Okay, now here's here's a question for you right here. They get up there and they don't get the Super Bowl. Then what? It's like, oh well, well, they just didn't get Well, I know Bowl. I got a, I know I got a better chance to win in the Super Bowl with Cam out there than him out there on the sidelines injured. I'm rolling the dice and I want him out there on the field healthy. Brother, brother, Cam is six five, two hundred sixty five pounds. He comes from a powerhouse of Auburn football where they play tough football because they play, you know, physical football down in Auburn. He, he's, you know, he's, he's used to take six six five, brother, two hundred forty five pounds. Longhorn. He, he has an awesome, awesome offensive line. They're not going to let him get, get hurt. Longhorn. If he gets hurt, he may get hurt 
leaving his ride going to the stadium, if you ask me. That's his chance of getting hurt. Okay, you take the uh you take the three and oh without the Super Bowl and Cam out there. I'm gonna take the O and three and get me a Super Bowl ring. I I'll take that. Matter of fact, let me let me give a shout out real quick to uh Michigan State basketball for being number one in the country, still number one. Boy, they doing some things up there at State, boy, football and basketball team. Also, let me say congratulations to Serena Williams for winning the Sports Illustrator Sports Person of the Year. The only thing she go. did only thing she did was just go fifty three and um three during the two thousand fifteen <laughs> Season with five titles, so <laughs> I love it. Hey, she, hey, she's the Muhammad Ali of tennis. I'm trying to tell you. Congratulations to Serena Williams for winning the Sports Person of the Year from Sports Illustrated. Now a lot of people feel that she what? shouldn't have got it, but I feel hell. Who else you gonna give it to? Huh? You got that right. All right, here's the backup quarterback, Derek. Uh, Derek Anderson. Okay, case six, closed. He, Move on. He's six, six. Well, okay, he's a big guy too, so he'll be all right. Get the hell he's out six, of here. He's six six. He's six six. He ain't no Cam pounds. Newton. He ain't no Cam Newton. No, but I'm just saying, as far as you know, I'm I'm just saying, as far as size and height goes, as far as like you know, being able to stand his ground out there behind that big old that big old line is, is you know. So Derek Anderson, if he's gonna come out, he's the backup for Cam Newton. So I'm, I'm wishing them all the luck. I, I want them to see them go 16-0. and 0. I don't want them to see them take no L. So if they had to bring Cam Newton out there for throw a couple of touchdown passes or for a quarter or so and then put him back on the sideline, hey, bring him on out there, let him do what he has to do, then bring old Derek Anderson back out there. So I'm good with that. All right, we'll move on, Longhorn. We, you, obviously, we can we agree to disagree. You want Cam out there getting his legs broken, his neck No, wait a minute. For Why three the brother got to get his legs broken, man? Right, that's what you just said. You might want to say he's going to get knocked unconscious. That's what, what you said. You want, you want both his legs, his legs broken. broken. You want both his legs <laughs> broken and his neck snapped for three these last three games. <laughs> what? Because you, you want to see him go 16 and no. You know? said legs broken. <laughs> That's what you just said, Longhorn. You just, <laughs> I'm going to call old Cam up, man, and tell him what you just said, man. He's going to come visit you. <laughs> yeah, that's what you just said, Longhorn. You want, you want his legs snapped? What else you hey, got? He's going to come visit you, brother. <laughs> I'm rooting for Cam, man. Actually, I'm not no Carolina fan, man, but I see that boy balling, man. That boy, hey, that boy's the real deal. You know? Yeah, that? yeah, he's, hey, Superman. It ain't no doubt about that, Longhorn. Hey, Longhorn, speaking of the real deal, do you believe in my Seahawks now? Nope. Boy, I tell you what, I tell you what I want you to do while you pulling up stats. Pull up Russell Wilson last five games, I believe. Pull up his stacks and see what that boy been doing. He's been a beast out there also. He's been a beast out there also. They still not better than the Panthers. I don't care what he been. No, 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 no. You said they wasn't going to make the playoffs, Longhorn. Then was your exact words. They I don't at, recall saying that. Yeah, they sitting at 8-5, and five, Longhorn. <laughs> Come on now. And beast mode still out. Still hey, I'm, out. I'm like they do in court. You got to prove me wrong. Bring us some. Oh, we got it on. Up, bring we got all the show. Evidence. We got all the shows on YouTube. If people want to go check them out, just type in Detroit Sports Jersey. You want to go check out the past shows? You can see the Longhorn trying to weasel his way out of this one, which is already <laughs> out. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm like R. Kelly. I don't know what you're talking about. That wasn't me. You want to join in the conversation? Three one three eight six eight three six eight eight. Hey, Longhorn. Let me switch gears here for a minute. Christmas right around the corner, right? Right around the corner. All right. You know, I usually give my crazy eights, my top eights, you know. Bring them on, brother. Bring you crazy. These are the crazy eights. Top eight signs. Your Christmas will be different. Top eight signs. Your Christmas will be different. If there is nothing under the tree but after Christmas sales papers, your Christmas will be different. In other words, you know, you know the, the you know the sales paper. <laughs> the yeah, yeah. Well, we should be like, this is mine. This, this is what I want. This is what you want. Yeah. That, if that's under your tree at Christmas Eve, you, you gonna have a different Christmas. It means you get nothing on Christmas Day. You gotta wait till the day after Christmas. Number on seven. The sale, sales on the sale. Number seven. The top eight signs your Christmas gonna be different. If the smell of weed is in your house. 
Oh, Lord. The cookies and milk you left out for Santa will be gone once Dad get the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, top eight signs your Christmas will be different. If you ask your parents, can we hang the stockings, and they hang you a prosthetic leg instead. <laughs> your, oh, my God. Your Christmas <laughs> will be different. Number five, if you hear Santa Claus coming down the chimney, chimney and he yells out, Mrs. Claus, get your thick ass over here, and your mama yells back, here I come, Santa. Your Christmas, will <laughs> your Christmas will be different. Number four, if your Christmas list is 20 items deep and you wake up and just see one box under the tree, <laughs> your Christmas will be different. Lord, I'm right. Boy, y'all saved these Christmases. Number three, top eight signs your Christmas will be different. If the Christmas tree smells like kush every time the Christmas tree lights are turned on, your Christmas will be different. <laughs> Number two, if Santa just leaves his bag by the Christmas tree with a note reading, take your own damn toys out the bag, your Christmas, <laughs> your Christmas will be different. And the number one sign that your Christmas will be different for 2015, if all the reindeers looks like the neighborhood hood, the neighborhood dogs, your Christmas <laughs> will be different. All right, Longhorn. I would mind taking a commercial break, but once again, the producer, engineer, he's at the lottery machine. He got a hot number. All right, let's people? go on a big dummy. No, 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 no. We ain't got, he ain't here to um, hook us up with that. He oh, okay. You know, what else you got real fast for the people? Oh, the did you know? Go ahead. All right, let's go some did you know. I got did you know for NBA, NFL, and the uh, college basketball. All right, first we're going to start with the NBA. Did you know until 1936, after every basket was made in the, in the NBA, they used to do a jump ball in the center of the, of the court. Okay. Now, you're talking about a long game. After every basket was made, they used to do the jump ball in the center of the court. Now, you talking about basketball's game being long. Now, with instant replays, just think okay. they still did that today. Okay. Man, I would change the channel. Did you know that in the NFL, an incomplete pass used to be a 15-yard penalty? An incomplete pass. Wow. Okay. Now, just think of they still had that in, that uh, penalty in today's football. How many people would catch the ball? Okay. And also, not only that, if the ball was never touched for that incomplete pass, it would go over to the defensive side of the ball. Okay. It'll be out. It'll switch balls. Right. Okay. All right. In, in the uh, in 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 the uh, National Baseball League, the Major Baseball League. Every every baseball that is produced is a dirty baseball, meaning this. They take the baseball somewhere in an undisclosed location near the Delaware River, and they wipe all the baseball dials with mud. They've been doing this since for 75 years because they want to get that new that new slick feel from the factory off the baseball. Okay. So they take the balls and they wipe them down with mud. So every baseball in the, in the Major League Baseball League is dirty when they come out there to play. All right, that's three things. Did you know? Caller, you're live you know, on the air. Thanks for calling Detroit Sports Jersey. How can we help you? I was checking out the game. Warm up in Canada's warming up, and he's going to play today. Oh, he's going to play? That's right. That's right. That's right. He went into the phone booth, and he came out. Super Cam, you better ask somebody. <laughs> now, Will, now, Will, you can take your fluffy pillows and your – uh, we want to baby him and go sit down on the sideline. Get ready for that thirty to nothing blowout. Listen here, I hope the boy, I hope the boy don't get hurt. But if he do, y'all want y'all to remember one thing: I told you so. Oh Lord, here we go. I hey, told caller, you. what's your name, caller? He done hung up. He done hung up. I'm telling you, I think hope he don't get hurt. And then if he get hurt and they still win the Super Bowl, what you gonna say? I told you so. You ready oh, for your wait big a minute, Hold on, now, hold on. 
if he gets hurt and they still win the Super Bowl, you're going to say, I told you so. Yep. If he get hurt and they don't win the Super Bowl, you're going to say, I told you so. I'm, to- I'm a politician, baby. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. What in the – what? Running. Somebody get this dude some type of – I'm running for office, baby. You're right. I, I could like the thing say, I ain't never right, but I ain't never wrong. But anyway, let's start with our big dummy. Hit it, and dog. Big dummy. All right, Longhorn, who's your big dummy? Oh, brother, I got a big dummy for you this week. Now, you know everything in Texas is supposed to be big, right? So you think people in Texas, now I ain't going to say people, but you think some some people in Texas would have a big enough brain and understand that stuff you do is not only big dummyish but stupidish. I don't even know if that's a word, but, hey, I'm throwing it out there. It'll be one today. <laughs> It'll be one What'd today. <laughs> huh? It'll be one today. <laughs> it's one today. This guy, man, he proposed to his girlfriend, but this way he going to make it real special. He closed down the highway Interstate 45 in Houston, Texas. Him and his friends and his family members shut the highway down for 35 minutes so this clown could get out and get down on one knee and propose to his girlfriend. Now, this is the part that makes it real big dummy. Number one, somebody could have been in that stuck in that traffic jam, going away to the hospital, emergency room. Somebody could have been on the way to a job interview. Somebody could have been on the way to their wedding, right? This dude going to say, well, that wasn't my intention. I wanted to do something that, that, my, my, that my fiance will remember. Oh, yeah, you're going to remember it all right. He's facing up to six months in jail for obstruction of highway, which is a misdemeanor, right? Now, this how, now this is how this clown, I say it's premeditated. This dude said, quote, when you shut down one of the biggest and busiest freeways in the entire country, I-45, and you ask your girl if she wants to marry you, that moment is priceless, love you, hashtag, she says yes. Oh, yes, that's a price, brother. It's called six months in jail. And hopefully you don't lose your job behind this because I don't know how you're going to support you and your new wife. And I hope that there's another price because she's going to put some money on your books. So the next person you're going to be proposing to is Bobo and them while you're in that laundry room or in them showers. So when you closing down the highway, you a big dummy. All right, before I get to my big dummy, I want to go back to the call in the Longhorn with this Cam Newton. I'm going to get off of this situation real fast. The three teams they playing, the Giants, the six and seven, and uh, Tampa? Tampa Bay, six and eight. And who's the other one? And the other one you got? I said the Giants, right? Yeah, uh, Tampa, Atlanta. Atlanta. Six and seven. Come on, man. I'm not risking my quarterback for that garbage. My big dummy of the week. I'm going <laughs> to have to say. Mirror, say your big dummy my of big the week. dummy of the week, I'm going to have to say. I told everybody this three years ago. Three years ago. This guy was going to start crying in the NBA again. He did it in Orlando. He did it with the Lakers. Now he's doing it with the Rockets. And you know who I'm talking about. The White You're not talking about the The, Superman of the NBA, are you? The White Superman Howard wants out, according to CBS Sports. He wants out of Houston. And I told everybody that. I marked my calendar and said three years from now, this date, he will be crying to get up out of there. So that's that's, they got kryptonite. He done running some kryptonite down there, brother. So that's my big dummy right there. Hit it, hen dog. The White House is my big dummy. Big, 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 <laughs> and any team that signs him after that, you a big dummy also. All right, Longhorn, what else you got for the people? Right, let me give you my true and false Longhorn real fast, see if you can get these. All right. All right, you ready? I'm going to give you three Bring scenarios. On, you got to answer right away, Longhorn. Ain't no Googling. <laughs> I'm not Googling, man. I'm not, even near my, I'm not even near my computer. What are you talking about, brother? All right, here go number one. A fight with a spider ends with the police being called. 
<laughs> Number two, Winnie the Pooh score goes on display. And did a Chicago team really call 911 to ask where these hoes at? Which one? <laughs> which one is the false story? I said that Winnie the Pooh skull is a false story. All right, Longhorn, that's actually a true story. There's actually what? Winnie. Yep, there's actually the Winnie the Pooh is a black Canadian bear that died in 1934 that inspired the children's book story, and his um skull is being put on display in some museum up there in Canada. And yes, the uh fight with the spider is a true story an Austra Austra Australian man battle with the spider mistake f was mistaken for domestic disturbance and the Chicago team actually that's the f that's the fake story he did not call 911 which that was actually all over the internet that this was true but it was uh, it's some website that makes up these um, it's called uh, hustlers.com website hustlers.com yeah okay it sounds like a yeah, fake H website h u z l e r s yeah they make up these type of stories and rumors about people so that's actually the false story longhorn so you lose ha <laughs> ha you lose oh man give me your prediction longhorn on the saints the ain'ts and the lions monday night espn baby prime time nation's gonna be watching ain't nothing else on tv so what else well, what you got I well, I say, you know, I'm still a Lions fan. I'm I'm a Couch Lions fan, so, I, you know, I had to go against my my, my Lions then, but I say uh, the Saints going to win by seven. The Saints by seven? Yes. But you a Lions fan, huh? <laughs> but I'm a Lions fan. A true Lions fan knows, you know, I don't I, I don't I don't root for my team from my heart. I root I root from a logical perspective. I have analyzed and de-analyzed and broken down the very last compound. So the Lions going to lose by seven. But I'm still a Lions fan. Go Lions. Okay, we had a caller predicted by 30. I'm going to kind of somewhat agree with him. I'm not going to say 30. I'm going to say. That's gonna poppycock. Say, I'm going to say 29. <laughs> oh, my God. That's poppycock. No, no I'm going to say the uh, Saints, 35, Lions, 17. That's my prediction. I think Drew Brees is going to have a field day with these boys. You know, um, I don't think the Lions defense, uh, the, uh, the secondary is going to hold up against Drew Brees. Now, granted, they lost Jimmy Graham to the Seahawks last year or this year, should I say, but I don't see the Lions going down there to beat New Orleans in New Orleans. I just don't see that. I don't see that happening. You know, they didn't show me nothing last week when the Lions played St. Louis and Todd Gurley, you know, ran for, you know, over 100, I think 150, 160-something yards. I don't see them stopping the Saints running game, and I don't see them stopping Drew Brees. So my prediction, Lions 35, I mean the Saints 35, the Lions 17. What else you got, Longhorn? Right, let's run down these wins and losses. Okay, Go. for this Sunday we got – we got Buffalo and Washington. I'm taking Washington. All right, we got Green Bay and Oakland. Oh, they at, let me know what they at too. I need to know what they at. Who's at where? Man, I'm telling you what they at and who's at where. I'm just telling you who you think is gonna win. They could be at, they could be at Belle Isle as far as I'm concerned. They could be at Midtown. They could be at Palmer Park. I just wanna know who you think is gonna win. Give me Green Bay. Go ahead. All right, Cleveland and Seattle. Seattle. Yeah, I knew you was going to go there. You a Seattle jumper. All right, Denver, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Miami, San Diego Chargers. No, that's a garbage game, so I'm going to take the Chargers. Cincy and the, and the Niners. Um, I'm going with Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that one personal. The Chiefs, the Chiefs in Baltimore. Give me the Chiefs. Houston and Indy. Yeah. Oh, give me Indy. All right. ATL. Jackson. Give me Jacksonville. All right. Shot Town and the Vikings. Give me the Vikings. All right. Our cousin's favorite team, Evans' favorite team, the Titans. And the, and the New Orleans, New uh, the Patriots. Give me the Patriots. 
Uh, we know Carolina and the Giants. We know what's happening on that end. I'm taking Carolina. All right. There it is. It's in the record books. All right. I'm going to give you a final word before we get up out of here. Final words. Game time, prime time. Detroit Sports Jersey time. I mean, Detroit Sports Jersey and Detroit Sports Media time. I'm gone. Uh, we hear here every sad Sunday, 11 a.m., WHPR 88.1 FM TV 32-3 WHPR. Hopefully next week Haley Scott will be back in town. So her stalker, I guess he want to holler at her again. I don't know what he want, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this ain't no dating show, but he ain't giving up. So I don't know. Take my hat off to him. Man, uh, thanks to callers for listening. Thanks, people. Thank you, callers. Continue tuning in. Thanks, people on TV for viewing in. We'll check you out next Sunday, 11 a.m. Every Sunday we're here at Detroit Sports Jersey Media. We out of here. Thank you, listeners from Detroit to Central Texas, for joining us here live on Detroit Sports Jersey Media with your host, Will Sims, and co-host, Longhorn and the Jersey Girl, every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern, right here on FM 88.1 WHPR. Visit us at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Have a great week.